Welcome back guys, in this lecture we'll see how to set up this footer and the bottom footer bar. So let's get started. For that come back to your uh, website, uh, open your dashboard in a new tab. Because for that we'll first have to create a menu. As you can see this is a menu. Uh, this is a shopping menu. These are some really important links like the wish list, my account, checkout, cart and shop. Very important links for any e-commerce website. So come back to your dashboard, uh, hover appearances, select menus. Uh, if you remember we have already created a menu, the main menu. Now we are creating a new menu, a footer menu. So what you do is create, uh, click on this link which says create a new menu. Now you can name it anything you want. I am naming it as footer menu. So you know I know that this is the footer menu. Click on create menu. Now from here you have all the pages as you can see. Now you can select whichever page you want in this uh, menu. You have wish list, my account, checkout page, cart page, shop page. Okay, so uh, maybe these are the pages you want. Uh, so just click on add to menu. Now click on save menu. Okay guys, so we have successfully created a menu. Now what we have to do, we have to insert that menu over here. And we also have to make you know these different four different columns, four different sections. For that again, come back to your dashboard, hover appearances and under appearances you will see something called widgets. Just click on widgets. Okay, the first one is footer area 1. So just open that or expand that and let's see what's there in a footer area 1. It is uh, an about us uh, message. So what you have to do is just clear, come over here. And there are many different widgets available. So we want this one, text. So there are two ways of adding, the, adding this uh, into the footer area. You can just click on this and select which area do you want this to go. So we are selecting footer area 1. Now click on add widget. Now the title, let's see what's the title. As you can see here it is about us. So you can just have about us as the title and there are some text. So just copy this text and paste it over here and click on save. Okay. So we have successfully done with the footer area 1. Let's see what's there in footer area 2. Footer area 2 is again a text with some you know information like timing and number and so on. So again select this text. Now select footer area 2 and click on add widget. Okay. Now in the title uh, we have put our customer service because in the demo it is our customer service. Now copy this. Okay. This much. And come over here and paste it over here now from here you can change everything like instead of this number you can change your number instead of this email address you just have to retype your own email address so that is very simple now click on save again come back and as you can see the third one is a menu a footer menu so let's add that Okay. here we have custom menu select the footer area 3 click on add widget now you can put any title we are putting shopping and select a menu we have we have to select the footer menu and click on save okay now the fourth one there is a, an image payment option this image is also available under the logos so select the fourth one and again we have to select this text and now select the photo area number four and click on add widget and here from here uh, from this demo website you can just copy this image uh, right click on this image click on copy image and paste it over here this is that simple okay now click on save okay now come back to your website refresh the website and let's see the changes 
okay guys so as you can see everything is fine now uh, we can see the about us uh, these uh, this customer service information the menu and also the payment option I can the logo this is images available or you can you know copy this from my website as I said etv.blog2.com the demo website which we have created now let's make changes to this uh, bottom bar the bottom footer bar for that hover over here and you'll see an option called theme customizer click on that okay now here you see an option called footer open that you can change the layout we have four columns over here so we have four columns okay you can uh, edit this widget uh, text uh, header text the color you know widget header color and so on from here if you want you can do though come back then you have footer elements whether you want to show this for uh, social icons if you untick this the social icons will be gone then again come back we have footer menu uh, we don't have any footer menu right here then we have the bottom bar okay you can change the color of this bar at print it is dark black and the text is uh, around gray color so you can change this color also if you want you can change the font size social icon size and so on and here at the uh, at the bottom we have edit footer creates again come back to the file where we have all the codes here you will see something called footer area code under that you will see a small code just copy that and paste it over here and as you can see now it says website designed and developed by Nayar Sheikh so if you want to change this text Nayar Sheikh to uh, anything like Abzal Khan then you can put it over here but it uh, it is a link and this link is uh, you know to the to my Udemy uh, profile you can change this link from here okay so if you want you can change this link from here so this is how you make this if you are satisfied with all these changes then click on save and publish after you do so just click on this X button to cancel this now let's put our social links over here because at present when you click over here nothing happens so let's put our own social links for that again come back to your dashboard scroll down you'll see this tv option click on that and when you scroll down you have all these options facebook profile url twitter profile url google plus profile url you can put all your you know urls over here and at the end click on save changes everything from here will be updated Okay guys, so this is it for this lecture and in this next lecture, we'll see how to set up this menu and how to create a logo. So that lecture will be very important because you know, I'll show you how to create a logo without using any professional softwares like Photoshop or CorelDRAW or whatsoever. We'll be using uh, an online website which is logomaker.com and through that we'll make this logo and you can make n number of logos different design it's all depend it all depends upon your creativity uh, what all you can create from that okay and we'll also see how to set up this menu we already have a menu over here but this is quite different you know the font is different the size of the font is different we'll see how to change that uh, okay in the next lecture so see you guys in this next uh, in the next lecture and till then take care